Hi, welcome to the Ultimate King James Code video series part one and we're going to talk about a new number in this series, the number 137. I throw in the word ultimate to differentiate it from the other series of videos I'm doing on the King James Code where we're dealing with the number 37. Not that the, these numbers are related though. And we'll see here, Pythagorean primes. The number 37 is a Pythagorean prime. And a Pythagorean prime is a prime number which is the sum of the square of two numbers. For instance, 1 squared plus 6 squared is 37. 1 plus 36 is 37. Now the number 137 is the sum of 4 squared plus 11 squared. And I want to point out this number 411. We're going to be talking about this number. Okay, I want to point out the number 137 is the 33rd prime number. And the number 33, a very, some would call it an esoteric number. Um, the 33 degrees of Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Many believe that Jesus was 33 years old when he was crucified. But the number 137 can be neatly expressed in terms of 3 and 7. 37 plus 10 squared or 3 plus 7 times 3 plus 7, 7 plus 3, however you want to arrange that. And this 3, 7 division in the number 10 can be seen in the Ten Commandments. If you examine the first three commandments compared to the remaining seven, um, you'll see that. Also in the ten words of Genesis 1-1, which we'll talk about here momentarily. Now I want to talk about something in physics that is known as the fine structure constant. This is an article from Wikipedia. In physics... The fine structure constant, also known as Summerfield's constant, commonly denoted by alpha, the Greek letter alpha, is a dimensionless physical constant characterizing the strength of the electromagnetic interaction between elementary charged particles. It is related to the elementary charge E, which characterizes the strength of the coupling of an elementary charged particle with the electromagnetic field by the formula I'm not even going to say all that. As a dimensionless quantity, it has the same numerical value in all systems of units, which is approximately 1 divided by 137. The inverse of alpha is 137.035 and several other digits. Okay, what I want to point out is the number 137 is connected with this constant. And this constant is a really a big deal in physics. It's a, a mysterious number to them. And uh, let's look at an article also uh, in Wikipedia. And uh, this, this uh, uh, is under the fine structure constant. You just Google it. But I'm going to quote. This is out of a book by Richard Feynman, The, the Strange Theory of Light and Matter. Okay. There is a most profound and beautiful question associated with the observed coupling constant, E. The amplitude for a real electron to emit or absorb a real photon. It is a simple number that has been experimentally determined to be close to 0 0.08542. Um, my physicist friends won't recognize this number because they like to remember it as the inverse of its square, about 137 Point zero three five nine seven, with about an uncertainty of about two in the last decimal place. It has been a mystery ever since it was discovered more than 50 years ago. And all good theoretical physicists put this number up on their wall and worry about it. Immediately, you would like to know where this number for a coupling comes from. Is it related to pi or perhaps to the base of natural logarithms? Nobody knows. It is one of the greatest mysteries of physics a magic number that comes to us with no understanding by man. Watch this. You might say the hand of God wrote that number and we don't know how he pushed his pencil. 
We know what kind of dance to do experimentally to measure this number very accurately, but we don't know what kind of dance to do on the computer to make this number come out without putting it in secretly. Okay, now what physicists are uh, unable to accomplish, we're going to accomplish using the Word of God and the King James Bible. Genesis 1.1 states, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now, Genesis 1.1 in the Hebrew, here it is with the numerical value of each word using Hebrew standard gematria. We know it has a value of 2,701, which is 37 times 73, and 2,701 is the 73rd triangular number. Okay, now here is the Hebrew alphabet with the standard gematria values below each letter. The letters go from right to left. Uh, Aleph being on the far right and Tav being on the far left. And you'll see that the center word in Genesis 1-1 in the Hebrew contains the Aleph and the Tav. And what, what I find interesting about uh, this particular word in the Hebrew is that it's a word that's not translatable into the English. And that's interesting to me because there's 28 letters in Genesis 1-1 in the Hebrew, which means only 26 of the letters are actually translated into the English, and there's 26 letters in the English alphabet. What I also want to show you is something that I saw on uh, a website, 37 times 73com John Elias, a friend of mine. Um, go check out his site. There's a lot of uh, good information there. I highly recommend it. Um, very technical stuff. And there was an article in there, and I believe there was another researcher that may have pointed this out. And what he showed was that, if you look at here, the alphabet I have uh, laid out here, that all the letters in white are used in Genesis 1-1. 11 letters. Okay, and all the letters that are in red are not used. And if you just add up the value of those 11 letters, it is 411, which is 137 times 3. So we actually see the numbers 37, 73, 137 in Genesis 1-1 um, as far as uh, Hebrew uh, gematria is concerned. And 11, 11 letters used in Genesis 1-1, 11 letters not used. The Hebrew alphabet, of course, 22 letters. When you think the number 11, what should come to mind is Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ consists of 11 letters. Okay? A lot of people get carried away with this number 11, and they, they want to talk about, they want to go to Genesis uh, 11 and talk about Babel and Babylon and and say how this number is confusion and that sort of thing and, and I think that's a wrong assessment and incorrect assessment of the number in fact in Genesis 11 1 it says the world is of one language and one speech which is the opposite of confusion uh, confusion is not having the 11 letters that is to say Jesus Christ that is confusion Okay, so let's look at the English. English gematria. English, uh, just simple ordinal English gematria. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Has a value of 411, which is, hundred, of course, 137 times 3. And I also want to point out that there's 44 letters in the English in Genesis 1-1. And 44 is 4 times 11. So we see that 4-1-1 pattern there in Genesis 1-1. One, one. If you remember, 137 is a Pythagorean prime, which was the sum of 4 squared plus 11 squared. So we see this 4-1-1, one, one, just this double confirmation that there's something significant here. And then if you look at the reverse ordinal, we're... Basically, we're going to say A equals 26 and Z equals 1. We get the rep digit uh, 777, 37 times 3 times 7. 
Now, Genesis 1-1 in the English is rich in numerical patterns, and the only difference between Genesis 1-1 and the King James Bible, and let's say the NIV or the New American Standard, is the fact that it, uh, the word heaven is used instead of heavens. If we throw that S in there, all this just disappears um, for the most part. Uh, so the King James Bible is the correct rendering of Genesis 1-1. And let us look at the King James Code. Now, if you're going to look for a numerical code or pattern in the Bible, uh, the word God would be a good place to start. I mean, the total number of times that this uh, word occurs should be significant. And all forms of the word God capitalized, as you see here, which would include God, Godhead, uh, the possesses possessive form of gods, like a God's son, let's say, um, occurred 4,110 times in the King James Bible, which is 137 times 30. Now, the 3-7 pattern in Genesis 1-1 in the English, um, the first three words in the beginning has a value of 137 so right away we're seeing that 37 division because you by simple subtraction you can see that the remainder of this verse will be a multiple of 137 so what I want to show is that the New Testament the total number of occurrence of the word God just as we saw in these the search of the entire Bible is uh, 1,370, which is 137 times 10. So now we see this division, this 137 division that we find in Genesis 1-1 is also in the King James Bible, except for the 137 is in the New Testament and not the Old. And it makes sense because John 1-1 states, In the beginning was the Word... And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Okay, the phrase, in the beginning was the Word, has a value of 15,481, which is 137 times 113. Now, if you look at the arrangement I have here, you'll notice that the second word, the, is blue. And that's to point out that the software, when you put in uh, um, two words that are exactly the same, um, it's not going to count the second one. It's going to say it's a duplicate. And so 15,481 is not counting the second occurrence of the the. So you say, well, that's cheating. You should count it like Gematria. In Gematria, it would count it. So the occurs 10,974 times in the New Testament of the King James Bible. So if we add that to 15,481, we get 37 times 715. So uh, the, the code is valid either way. That's the point I want to make. Um, God thought of this beforehand. We don't need to overthink this. Again, John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This arrangement yields 137. Okay, this is not going to be an exhaustive um, study of John 1.1. 1, 1. We, would, we would be in the hundreds of slides if we were to do that. Now, Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, the, the remaining seven words, remember that 3-7 division, uh, the remaining seven words, God created the heaven and the earth, has a value of 274, which is 137 times 2. And in the Old Testament of the King James Bible, all forms of the word God capitalized occurs 2,740 times, 137 times 20. So we see that 137 Two seven four split not only in the gematria of Genesis one one in the English, but also in the count of the English King James Bible. 
The phrase Lord God occurs 548 times in the King James Bible, which is 137 times 4. The phrase of the Lord occurs exactly 137 times in the New Testament. In extended English gematria, the phrase of God has a value of 137. And I want to take a moment to talk about the extended English uh, cipher, which basically follows the pattern of uh, the Hebrew. And I believe this is going to be the cipher that's going to be used to um, calculate the number of the beast using the the name when it is revealed and I'm gonna make some videos or a video um, about that subject on down the road and, and put forth the evidence for that um, I also want to mention this I forgot uh, 137 1 plus 3 plus 7 is 11 right remember the four times 11 words in Genesis 1 1 um, Jesus Christ has 11 letters I just wanted to point that out Okay, the phrase of God using the King James Code has a value of 38,634, which is 137 times 47 times 6. And I emphasize the word for, uh, the number 47 because it is part of the King James Code. is a significant number in the Bible. And it's the number of times the phrase Son of God occurs, all uh, capitalized as it, you see it referring to Jesus Christ. And this particular pattern includes the superscriptions in the Psalms, which I'm going to tell you, they are part of the Bible and they are inspired. I do plan on making a video um, about the superscriptions that are found in the Psalms. And in that video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the number of words in the King James Bible using the number 373. Okay, the phrase Lord God Almighty, which is found in uh, Isaiah 6 and in uh, the book of Revelation, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, um, has a value 12,330, which is 137 times 3 squared. The phrase I am the my, Almighty God, um, Genesis 17, 1. And when Abram was 90 years old and 9, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Okay, we have a value of 6,028, 137 times 44. And I just want to emphasize that 411 pattern here. Psalms 9.2 I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. O thou most high. Um, in 411 verses when we uh, with this arrangement using the King James Code, which is, um, as you, we said earlier, 137 times 3. Revelation 19.17 And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of the heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. The great God has a value of 1,370, um, using the King James Code, which of course is 137 times 10. Okay, here. Genesis 1 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. We already saw that in English to matrix, it has a value of 411. And here, this arrangement, we have 548, 137 times 5. And I should have said this earlier, but the uh, red forward slashes just separate the, the, the phrases and the words as they are inputted them into the King James Pure Bible Search software. Here, this arrangement, which is found in the book of Genesis, uh, yields a value of 137.
So the, the King James Code, like I said, it's the, the Bible is a volume of books, and we can examine uh, a book individually, a collection of books uh, such as uh, the, the Law, the first five books of the Bible, um, also known as the Torah, or the New Testament, the Old Testament, uh, the four Gospels. They are all divisions, uh, natural divisions in the Word of God. Here is another arrangement that yields uh, 137 in the Old Testament. Again, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. This value has a uh, this arrangement has a value of 137. Okay, now this uh, is an arrangement of Genesis 1:1 in the first five books of the Bible, of uh, the Law or the Torah, as I said earlier, this arrangement has a value of one or thirteen thousand seven hundred, which would be one hundred and thirty-seven times one hundred. And if I was to show all the patterns, I'm going to make a video on the patterns of thirty-seven and seventy-three in Genesis one one, and I can tell you that there are well over seventy um, arrangements that will yield uh, the number thirty-seven or seventy-three. Here, this arrangement is uh, of the book of uh, Genesis, and we have a value of 2,466, which is 137 times 18. Okay, so let's go to the New Testament, and we're going to finish this video off here, and we're going to look at 1 John 5, 7. The arrangement, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Um, in the New Testament, it has a value of 822, which is 137 times 6. Um, 1 John 5, 7, a very special verse in the Bible. And I'm gonna, I plan on making a video on that verse alone. And you're going to see that this verse belongs in the Bible. Um, God has put a signature in that verse. Uh, there's enough numerical patterns in there. Um, to uh, make James, Dr. James White's head explode. All right, this, this verse belongs in the Bible. So I want to talk about the, the fine structure constant. And what you see here is just a formula um, for that, that constant in physics. And I, I want to point out here is that the, the C in both these formulas, they, bo they both yield the fine structure constant. And it shows that uh, the reciprocal of 137 is an approximation of that constant, a very close approximation. And let me say this about that. Uh, there's articles about this number has increased, or some physicists think that it's increased over the past billion years or whatnot. Um, even though it's not exactly um, 1 divided by 137, that's not to say that it... Uh, at one time, let's say maybe before the fall, that it wasn't exactly 1 divided by 137, or that our measurement is only valid here, measuring on Earth, who knows? Um, they can't even uh, totally agree on that themselves. Um, but C in the equation, I just want to point out, is the speed of light. And the Bible has a lot to say about light. I'm going to finish this video by giving you a preview of part two of this series. Now let's go to Genesis 1, 3, and it states, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And we see the arrangement here, Let there be light, and there was light, it has a value of 274, which is a 137 times 2. Um, thanks for watching this video. I enjoyed making it. And if you're wondering what about the regular... King James Code 37 series, uh, and you're waiting for part 7, I have, have, I have it put together, I just have to record the audio for that, and I just got sidetracked uh, when I seen some things and went off and did a study, so part 7 of uh, that series will be coming soon, thanks.